Good morning. I hope you're all really, really well. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Um, I look like a thumb today because I had about an hour's sleep, basically. Me and my sister had a very long, detailed conversation about ghost stories, and basically I couldn't sleep because I kept waking up thinking I was seeing things, thinking that like people were touching me. So yeah, didn't get much sleep last night. Um, so that's why I look like the human thumb today. I hope you guys are really well. Welcome back to another moving vlog. Um, I feel like the house is really, really coming together, especially over the past few weeks, especially furniture wise. Um, we have pretty much everything now apart from our dining room. We are awaiting our dining table and dining chairs and I want to put like a really nice sideboard in there as well with like a cosy lamp. Um, so that's going to be like a whole another transformation because it's currently the cat sanctuary. Um, it's currently the place all of the cats just have their things and it's the place they spend the most time. So I'm looking forward to actually having a dining room. Um, the only other room as well which needs a little bit of a makeover is the spare bedroom. I need to get a sofa bed and like a bedside table and make that like a really nice room that our family and friends can come over and stay in. And we also as well would like to paint everywhere and do some panelling as well. But that's just one of those things that can kind of be done as and when. Um, like there's no urgency for that. We can kind of just schedule that in when we have a bit of spare time. So today we are going to be filming our house buying Q&A. We will sit down and do that this afternoon. I've got loads of questions from you guys, um, which we can answer a little bit later on. But this morning we are actually going to be finishing my dressing room island, which I'm so excited about. We've been doing this kind of like, well, we, I say we. Jamie's been building this for the past kind of like few weeks as and when bits come in. So I filmed a bunch of clips because as you guys know it was like a little DIY IKEA kind of project. I found it incredibly hard to find a nice dressing room island anywhere and when I did they were so expensive like we're talking thousands. Especially if you want like a marble top they're so expensive so we kind of had the idea of creating our own which we've done and it looks so good we're going to be wrapping it today so that'll be like the final touch um but i filmed a bunch of clips so you guys can see it go from start to finish and i will insert that now for you guys i hope you enjoy okay guys the dressing room island begins i've just had two of my drawer units delivered so they come in two different packets so this is obviously one drawer unit and this is another drawer unit um i just wanted to show you like the name and the code of them just in case you do want the same ones as me and this is what they look like the reason i ordered two of these drawer sets is because we're going to have them back to back um so like this on the opposite side so there's six drawers in total and it creates more of like a square and then as I said before, Jamie's building a topper, which we're gonna get wrapped. It's gonna look so beautiful. And he's gonna make that more of a rectangle shape because the room is an L. Um, so I feel like a rectangle will kind of go a lot better. These were, I believe, 90 pounds each. Um, so both together, it's 180 pounds. You could totally leave it like this. But like I said before, Jamie's gonna be making me a topper so it can also be a kind of like a little dressing table and it's a lot more multifunctional because obviously you can sit at it and do your makeup and stuff like that. So just quickly wanted to show you guys a little before of how my dressing room currently looks. All of these wardrobes are Ikea packs. Um, I will leave down below all of the details. Um, I've made a list which I used in my last moving vlog of exactly what I chose for the Ikea Pax wardrobe. So I'll leave that down below again. And then over this side, I have my Alex drawer stacks, which are just two sets of Alex drawers. I've also got another one, which came with the delivery today, which is gonna go here. But as you can see, the wardrobes are in an L shape. So the island is gonna kind of go like here. It's not gonna be too big, but it's just gonna feel like it's gonna really make this room flow. And it's also gonna be so nice to have I've bought like a, um, a really beautiful bar stool and it'll be facing the window. So I'll get all of the beautiful natural light in there as well. But I'm so excited to see what the island looks like. So here we are, back again. Guess what I'm doing? Yes, flat pack, of course. What else would I be doing on Gemma's vlog? So it's, it's boiling. I've got a new skin fade, which I actually had by mistake. 
but it's all right. It's summer, you know. Grows back. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be building Gemma's island for a dressing room. So got quite a bit of space here in the middle. So let's fill it. I've just come into to Gemma's office to grab the uh, tripod so that I can set you up in the corner. And I've come across this weird thing on the side. Didn't know what it was. I was like, what the hell? They look like oysters or something. Like little trays. I was like, oh, that's something. She must have ordered like a little ornament from like, I know. Cause she does this thing as well where she orders something that thinks it's gonna be like huge and it ends up being about this size. So anyway, come in here and I come across these things. I'm like, oh, what are they? And uh, yeah, I know what they are now. Now I've looked at them again. <laughs> of course, what else would it be? Just sitting there on the windowsill, chilling. Anyway, I'm gonna get the tripod now, what I came in here for. Okay, so what we didn't plan for was this little gap here couple of options. We can trim this bit off until they sit flush or just leave it. We'll see what Gemma says with that. Morning everybody, here he is again. More DIY projects on the go. What have we done? So we've put together the units which you've seen. And on top there is now a sheet of MDF. So what I've done is I've put an edging on this and that is going to be flipped over the other way and sit on top of these drawers and hold it all together along with a few screws. Um, so yeah, I did, uh, in the end, I took the two pieces of wood off going along here. So I took the top off actually. Um, just marked a line 10 mil away because that's the distance of the uh, overhang and chopped along it with a circular saw. So yeah, back back to the top. So the wood um, is a sheet of 18 mil MDF which I've just had cut at B&Q and this is all being wrapped. Uh, dimensions are just here, but I'll get Gemma to put them in the description box. And do you know what? I was surprised because B&Q have been rather accurate on the cuts, but I did make it clear that it needed to be accurate, so. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll measure and I'll put one central screw. So what have we got here? 10, 20. Drill through. Wow. <laughs> Gonna crack on then. <laughs> Repeat that four times. Yeah, repeat that four times. And with a lot more screw holes. So we thought about putting you guys on top of the fan. To so get so <laughs> you get this. That would actually be so cool. Shall I leave you guys on the fan? <laughs> you make people see soon. Oh yeah, because it would be a time lapse, so it would be so fast. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Nice smooth pan though. Yeah. Semi finished product. Lovely, looks so good. That just sits on the top here. Perfect. Nice and tight here. This isn't like the finished colour or anything. Um, we've ordered like a marble, stony kind of wrap, which is just going to look mm. so gorgeous. I can't wait to see it finished. So the bottom is held together as well by these little like, struts that I've put in there. That's really good. So it like kind of makes, together. yeah, perfect. The top together. And it makes the two units one. 
reason we we don't really want to attach the top to the actual island is it's a lot easier to be able to just kind of like move mm -hmm. um which we wanted to consider so we kind of wanted to keep the topper like it is so it's removable so if we do need to move it out of the way for any reason it's just extremely easy so it is literally just a topper yeah, yeah. and then two draw units draw that and move them along to wherever. yeah how good does it look guys i love i feel like you can see what i mean now about the um the breakfast bar little bit bar bit <laughs> it's perfect because it's like a dressing table and island all in one and then also you've got all your storage here as well um the draw units are just in here at the moment so as you can see they've got the paneling effect and also the handles which matches the wardrobes perfectly um so yeah, it's gonna look so good when it's done. Yeah. Uh, so the next job, mm -hmm. fill these holes. With filler? Yeah. So are you filling those holes because we're wrapping it and it needs to be? Yes, so that's what I was getting to. So these oh, holes sorry. are being filled. So with this, you don't have to wrap it like we are. Um, Jamie said you can paint it as well, so you know, if you didn't want to wrap it, you could literally just paint it white or whatever colour you want to paint it so it matches. We are going to finish it. well, get this ready to be finished, and then Gemma's going to help me wrap it. So, these little screw holes that are countersunk. Can we see that? Yeah, I'm just going to pop a little bit of filler in there. So what I've used is um, Easy Fill. I believe that it's... Jip rock. It's in like um, it's in a paper bag, actually. So it comes in a paper bag. Mix it with water. Really good stuff. Easy to sand. Uh, over here, we've got. We picked this up yesterday. The wrap, marble print on there. It's a nice light sort of minimal sort of marble print. I'm gonna get it prepped and. Ready to rock. My little helper came halfway through, didn't you? Ted Ted. Keeping an eye on it. So that's all filled and just need to wait for it to dry. And then tomorrow, before we wrap the surface, we'll just give it a bit of a sand, make sure it's nice and level, so you can't see the screw heads through the wrap. Stay tuned. So I've got my scraper, and I've got my sandpaper. Wow. Wow. And what I'm gonna do is, scrape the majority of the filler off. On the chair. Okay. And and then sand it level. And if any of these filled holes have a little divot in the middle where the filler has shrunk, just go over it again to make sure that's nice and level because you will see that through the wrap. It looks so nice already and it's not even on properly yet. This is going to be the hardest bit placing it on there. It's only going to be hard because Jamie has OCD. I should have asked for it a bit bigger, <laughs> a bit longer, okay. but it's uh... It looks so nice already though. We have to land it perfectly in the middle. Right, I'll just, you just tell me what to do then. I won't touch anything. Bob gave me a bit of a walk through, talk through. Okay. So do you want me to pass that on? Yes. Jamie's been told by a professional mm. how to wrap properly. So, so there's no I'm bubbles. Yeah. It, it gave me a squeegee. Oh cool. Better than a credit card, eh? Hopefully. So what you have to do is peel the back off. Mm -hmm. Land it, so me, you and I, you'll be that side, I'll be this side. You have to land it exactly where it is now. That's why I sort of put a little bit of crease in there. That was my own doing. He didn't tell me to do that. But so we can it's see. That's a good idea though. <laughs> no, because then we can see because otherwise. So it gives you a little bit of a guidance. Yeah. And then um There'll be a bit of, naturally, there'll be a bit of air under it, in the middle. And then what you have to do is work it out to the sides. I'll leave a link down below of where we got this, just in case you are looking for the exact same thing. Yeah, give Bob a call, we'll mm -hmm. sort you out. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Do you want me to hold it up whilst you peel? 
Yeah, if you can, if you hold that then. This is my, this is my part. Hold that one as well. Mm. Hold it up, don't let it touch the... Oh, it smells nice. Does it smell of? Plus, Blue. now then. Wait there a second. If, if we just... That's it. So, Do I need to come down on my knees? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so, the mark that I made. Right, hang on, wait there, wait there, wait there. Don't do anything. I'm scared. I think that's on there now. Let me grab this. Okay. Stop, my hair stuck to it. Yeah, go on. What? You can move now. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it down. Ready? Wait, 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 of trades that you can do. Jamie is now a professional rapper. Oh, sweating. <laughs> Looks so good though. Wow, not a bubble in sight. I mean, there's a few bits of grit underneath it. It's not. I mean, it's it just kind of looks adds to the texture. Like you really can't see it. <laughs> it looks so good. Wow, I love it. Okay, so once all the air bubbles are out the top, Jamie is just cutting the corners in half like this At 45 degree 45 degree angle so one can go obviously on that side and then the other can go on top so it looks nice and seamless so as you can see on this side one half has been folded under and then this one will just go over the top i'm trying not to touch anything because it's all going very well Are you ready to see the official, very long awaited dressing room island reveal? In three, two, one. What do you guys think? I love it so much. I think it looks absolutely perfect. I was saying to Jamie, this genuinely doesn't look like wrap at all. Um, it just looks so seamless. I'm so happy with it. I love the print as well. I didn't want anything to, you know, there's like loads of different types of marble. I wanted something that was just really subtle with just like a hint of marble. Um, but this looks perfect. And Jamie and I were saying, if you do get bored of this, the best thing with wrap is you can literally just replace it. Let me know what you think. I need to find something nice to go on top of here. I really like to find a little tray, maybe like a black tray to match, obviously like the handles and my bar stool to go in the middle and then pop in some perfumes in there maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, I might pop this book over here on there actually. I'm not too sure yet, I'm gonna have a play around with that. But my dressing room is pretty much complete and I'm just, I'm so happy with it. I've wanted an island for my entire life. I've always wanted a dressing room island and before we even wrapped this, just having this in here is so handy just to kind of like sort washing out, sort outfits out, like it's it really is so handy. I need to um, organize these drawers. Um, I need to decide like what I'm putting in here. I think I'm gonna have one side of like hair bits like curlers and straighteners and hair brushes and stuff like that um, And then the other side maybe just some more folded clothes But I can't believe this is finally done. I feel like I've been waiting for ages for this to be done on this side of the room Oh, just spotted a minky I think that's from when Jamie was wiping it before he put the wrap on. Let me remove that because That just ruins the whole room so over this side, I have got my drawers from Ikea. I actually have another one to go on here, which just needs to be built, but that can be done. But I have my beautiful new mirror from William Wood Mirrors, which came last week. Um, I actually, this one is actually for downstairs. Um, I have another one of these, which is coming, which is like twice the size of this. 
so it will literally fill this whole wall which will be amazing this one is actually for downstairs but i just thought i'd pop this one in here for now just so i've got a mirror and then when the bigger one comes i will move this one downstairs and then get the bigger one in here because i just think that'll be so nice to basically have like a full mirror wall i think it would be really lovely um also this bar stool can't remember where i bought it It was from a company in sweden but it didn't like it didn't cost loads um like loads in shipping and it it was quite quick i think it came in like seven days um i'll find out where i got it from and link it down below i'll link as much as i can down below like where we got the wrap um a link to the drawers and anything else that i've mentioned i'll go through and pop it down below what do you guys think let me know let me know what you think i should put in the middle um, but this is literally like my dream room. So incredibly happy with it. Welcome to the cat sanctuary guys. The dining room and my cat mug. That's actually quite fitting. Teddy's box that she's got in. <laughs> One day this will actually be our dining room. Hello. Hello. You're like a news reporter. <laughs> this does feel very official. We didn't know where to sit. But this is just kind of like. What do you need to get? And in other news. In other news. The residents of. Can't say where we live. <laughs> Here comes Tilly. You come in to join. Come on in. What's the news then? You're not very good news report if you're not going to tell us what's going on. In other news. <laughs> You've said it in other news three. Girl of News Limited has just been floated on the stock market with three trillion pounds worth of shares. Oh, that's a gold have. Speak it into existence. What do you think you become? What do you think you become? So we are finally getting round to filming our house buying Q&A today. Um, I've got lots of you guys' questions here. We just thought this might be helpful for anyone looking to buy their first home. If you're self-employed and it's been like really hard like it was for us. I'm not sure we can help with that. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it was a bloody nightmare. <laughs> it was a bit of a nightmare. I have got a list of all the questions that we needed to answer. If you want me to read it out quickly on my iPad. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Oh, what, for the mortgage? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant, oh, so how did you get the questions? No, what did you have for breakfast this morning? When was the last time you went to the toilet? Genuinely though. What kind of consistency was your feces? <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> <the> past week. <laughs> Do you have photos of said feces? I just want a bloody mortgage, mate. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it blurry? Oh no! It'll come back. Your face is fine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How would you sum up the whole mortgage buying process in one word? One word. Stressful. No. Not stressful. Mm, no, there's better. There's got More to be stressful. a better word for it. Like, Torturous. <laughs> yeah. No. Torturous. Do you know what? Like, I'm just trying to think. Like the main. Frustrating. I think frustration. Yeah. Probably frustration. frustrating. I think if any of you guys have bought your first house or like tried to buy a house, it when people say it's genuinely one of the most stressful things you will do, it really challenging. is. Challenging. Yeah, challenging. It was challenging. What would you change if you were to go back? That was one of the One questions. thing that I would definitely change, like right now, and we are changing, to be fair. Keep a better track of your finances. Oh my god, 100%. Make sure, do a credit check. Yeah. Most importantly, like now, go and do a credit check. Like, don't waste any time. Even if you're not thinking about getting a house now, go and do a credit check and just see what you've got outstanding because, guaranteed, like for instance, I had a phone bill, right? Cancelled the contract, paid it off. They put a £10 admin fee on there that I didn't know about and, um, so I didn't pay it. That was on there as a default, and my credit score was like 998. It was like, I've, I've got a screenshot of it. It was brilliant. And it went down to about 300. Because so this crazy. 10 pound, I didn't pay it off. And I actually got it removed. The my default? Credits, yeah. 
because um, oh wow they removed it yeah they actually yeah, removed it they, they're very it took me a while to get it off yeah but my credit score never went back to normal but it's worth checking now it's because so annoying. you might not know that you owe someone 10 quid and uh, you can just pay the 10 quid get it removed and then you've got time for your credit score to build up for when you do want to get a house so finances get your credit score in check yeah definitely make sure your bank accounts are clear how long did the process take from putting your offer in to getting your keys so i actually worked this one out earlier because i remember if you guys oh, remember yeah, days, um i've only got the dates because we actually i was vlogging on the day we came to view this house and we actually put an oh, offer yeah. in um and i remember saying on that vlog because we'd looked at a few houses and i thought there's literally no point in kind of telling you guys because everything is so uncertain literally until you get the key but I had a good feeling about this house. Um, I remember saying in that vlog, like, I must be putting this out there for a reason. So we put our offer in, it was around the middle of March, um, and then we got our key on the 30th of June. I've got a point here. Mm? Offer lower, never put the actual price in. Mm. We offered too low at one point, though. Yeah, we did have to go up. Do. If you offer too low, it gives room to meet in the middle. Mm, which we did do, which was really good. Um, so yeah, it didn't take too long for us. I know some people where they're actually waiting like a year, but I think that's more of when you've got a bit of a chain, isn't it? Like this was literally a new build house. Um, we didn't have a chain because we were renting before, so we literally didn't have any chains either side. But I think if you're if you're in a chain, it can take a lot longer. So we were quite lucky with that, really, because it didn't. Mm. It seemed like an, an eternity. Mm. But it wasn't really that long. So the, the market's very busy at that point as well because mm. everyone's trying to get in for the uh, stamp duty holiday. Oh, you mm -hmm. had a, you mentioned earlier you had about the solicitor. That was another thing you changed. Oh yeah, and struck the solicitor earlier as well. Like as soon as you have made the offer. Because we were unsure, like everyone's going to be in different circumstances, so that, that's important to remember, right? But for us because we were unsure whether we could get a mortgage or not due to like a number of different things like covid not helping what we did for work not helping credit scores not being great i mean they're not terrible but they're not great like all of these things add up and it's just like a perfect storm so we were unsure of what to do for whether so sorry we were unsure whether we could whether we were 100 percent going to get a mortgage like it had been accepted in principle which is the first thing so you apply, you put all your figures in, they say, yeah, we could lend you this much. But then they do like a final check where they go through your finances. With us, we wanted to wait to instruct the solicitor because we didn't want to not get the mortgage, pull out, but still owe the solicitor fees. So we yeah. waited until we had the mortgage. The solicitor bit is the bit that takes the longest. Like some of them have like, what, a 16 week mm. completion thing. And we, the problem is with us, we were on such a tight time frame because basically, stamp duty oh holiday. my God, the stamp duty holiday ended on the 1st of July and our, our like completion date was like the last week of June. And we actually got, we ended up getting our key on the 30th of June. So if we had, if, if it had fallen a day later, we would have had to pay stamp duty, which was why we were so like, towards the end of it, it was so stressful because we, it was a very good turnaround. It was a day, yeah, it was. Solicitor, like, yeah. It was. But if we had appointed them earlier, there wouldn't have been that element of stress towards the end. Yeah. And shop around for a solicitor as well, because we spoke to some that said there was a 16 week, mm. and then the one that we went with, it was an eight, eight to 10 week, wasn't it? So some of them will take longer than others, so I think it's was good it to shop around. Was six to eight? Oh, it was six to eight, our solicitor. Mm. But the one we phoned prior to it that was, very busy. was like 16 week wait. So yeah, if you, are in, in, if you want it done quicker, definitely shop around, because they all have different sort of completion times. Did you use a mortgage advisor or just do it yourselves? So, I guess by just do it yourselves means go with like a, a, an actual direct to a bank. Right, so we went with the mortgage advisor first because Jamie knew the mortgage advisor. This was back in like January, February, and he tried everywhere, didn't he? Like even the specialist, specialist places that take on cases that, you know, are a bit more high risk, like uh, you haven't been self-employed long or you don't have great head, cre head credit history. Uh, we don't have a great credit score or you know you've got a bit of like a, a special case which youtube is a job 
is, is seen as high risk because it's like a relatively new thing. It's not, it's not the stablest, I guess. That's their kind of concern. It's like it? any self-employment though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, and it's then, a period of time it's going mm -hmm. for. Because before, when we applied for the mortgage back in January, February, Jamie was self-employed, I was self-employed, but then when we applied for it again in March, Jamie had been working with me for like the past four months, so you had three months pay slips, so technically he was employed. Yeah, um, so that worked out better, awesome. but yeah, so we tried with the mortgage advisor we ended up going for first, couldn't, couldn't get one anywhere, um, and then we tried Barclays, and they were just like, no, computer says no. Although it was like... <laughs> half the price of the pay at the minute. Yeah, <laughs> computers have an open Barclays. So we went back to mortgage advisor and he went back to the specialist and said yes. But there were loads of terms and conditions for hours because it was like high risk. And also, I was saying, me and Jane were saying earlier, with these specialist banks, it's kind of unfair because it's literally one person being like, yes, no, yes, like, isn't it? And it it's so, like it's not done on a computer, it's these people that will look, it's, it's a person But then again, look perhaps that's a case. better way because they can then like sort of yeah. use their own judgment, whereas like yeah, good point. a computer just looks at it and goes, no, no. It's good and bad because yes, no. I think like, it depends on the person. Like, it depends if they've had their coffee. Or they're having a good day or not. So it literally is so, it's just, <coughs> I don't know, it's, it's so it's so hard to actually give advice on getting a mortgage because it's so different for every single person's circumstances. Like you can't. We can only really say like our experience and what we would change. It's struggling. Like there's no reason you can't get an idea from like uh, compare the market. I think they do mortgage. Or like speak to someone because we spoke to the mortgage advisor earlier on this year. They told us loads of things we can do to change it. Like there was little things, weren't there? Like our bank accounts at our mum's for like since forever as well. Well, yeah, because like my mum's never <laughs> moving, and I thought like <laughs> it's just easier for my mum to have it there. But that's actually that's really important that you have all of your just everything that you own going to your actual address. We did a lot, we made a lot of changes, which basically the mortgage advisor will advise you to do to be able to get a mortgage. So don't feel disheartened if you go somewhere and they're like, no, like keep, take their advice, make small changes and then try again, like just get don't- Get on the electoral roll. Oh yeah, that was another thing. <coughs> definitely do that. Um, but yeah, definitely speak to someone. It, like, I think even if you're not looking to buy a house right now, like Jamie said, look at your credit score and speak to a mortgage advisor just so you know where you stand. But even the credit scores, they will give you advice of what you can do yeah. like online. So definitely better to just get that. So you can just look on them and be like, oh, I need to do this. Yeah. Or it'll say this address isn't registered, so you just register it. Mm. Was it hard for you to get a mortgage being self-employed slash working together? Yes. We've kind of answered that. Yeah. Um, Basically, if you're employed, it's easier to get a mortgage because you're seen as having a stable wage. But the longer you've been in self-employment, the easier it is as well. So I only had two years of books to get the mortgage. I can get a mortgage at one year, but it will be seen as like a high risk special case kind of thing. Yeah. With the special case things deposit. as well, yeah. So if you end up having to go to a, like a special, I don't know what I was to call it, a special high risk. It's a specialist lender. A specialist lender, then there will be terms and conditions where you have to pay a ridiculously high deposit and your interest rate is higher, right? And also the years that they lend over is lower. Yes, yeah. Um, so what next question is what percentage Well that leads us on well to the next question, I know. Gemma. <laughs> what percentage deposit did you put down? There were loads of you guys asked this question. 50%. We didn't put down 50, can you imagine? No, we did have to put down 25%. Deposit. Which is a lot. But to be fair, they wanted more, didn't they? Oh yeah, they wanted yeah. yeah. They wanted 30. They wanted another yeah. It was but we, we argued that, didn't we? And then they- Yeah, so we said, they were saying there was an outstanding- We literally got to like the last hurdle <coughs> of getting it all done and they were like, we need more money. Yeah, there was- We got them more money. They were basically saying there was outstanding debt that actually wasn't outstanding. Oh. 
So they just. It was an error. So this was just paid. a person that looked at it and said, "Oh, you still owe that? Well, actually, it's been paid off." So the mortgage broker got in touch and said, "Look, I can't find this amount that you're looking for. We've sent you all the credit reports. It's not there." And they came back and said, "Oh no, you're right." <laughs> so question everything. <laughs> question everything. Because um, people make mistakes like it's human error. So yeah, we had to put down 25% deposit, which was a lot of money. It was mm. literally our life savings. Mm. Um, and it was kind of scary because it was like, it was like our life savings. But it was totally worth it. <clears throat> and going forward, like hopefully, now we've got on the property ladder, we won't have to do that on our next house. I don't care about my life savings anyway, because I've got a lawnmower which does uh, strike. So this is a good next question. Is this your forever home? <laughs> Sorry. Really? Is this your forever home? Home. Is um, this your forever home? Is it? Um. Well, do you know what? Like, I could quite happily live here forever. How about you? Do you know what? Like, I, I could like I could mm. happily live here forever. Like, I love it here I so much, but I don't forever. see it. Well, do you know like what? I just I see us being why? here for the next three probably three to five years and then I, I see us I just don't you know like when you I don't know I get these gut feelings I just don't see us like I don't see us like having children here. I could be quite happy with it though. But I think you and I both just like I always want to achieve more. Yeah, definitely. But we're always striving. We're not, we're not settlers. It's good because it means you're like ambitious and- I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy, but then it's a bit of a curse because I find you always end up wanting more a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Like it gets to the point where it'll be, will, will you ever feel satisfied? Do you know what I mean? Like will you always think that, I don't know. Um, strange one, isn't it? It is strange because it's, it's good and bad. This is getting Why deep. Is this? It's long. That's like, Potentially it could be 70 years. 70 years! Nah, we're not gonna live here in 70 years. We'll be at an old people's home by that time. True. I like, like, um, I like hills. <laughs> All right. No Where were you going there. with that? There's no hills in the I bed. like hills. You can literally see for miles. <laughs> so basically, guys, we're gonna live in the hidden hills. Or, no, do you, do you know, know what the hidden hills is? Yeah, it's where Drake lives. Calabasas. You only know that because you Calabasas. You asked me the other day what Calabasas <laughs> and I was like, basically where Drake lives. As your house is a new build, do you own 100% of it? We have a mortgage. Oh, uh, I think they mean equity share, don't they? We looked at that earlier. Oh, yeah. So some houses, you can have like equity share. I think that's funded by the developer. We just got a mortgage on the whole thing. Yeah, it's so awesome. technically we own 100% of it when we've paid off our mortgage. So guys, that is going to go ahead and end our house buying Q&A. I hope I yeah, just gave you a little bit of insight about our house buying experience. Don't want to do it anytime soon again. No. Um, <laughs> It's the whole movie. So my love, she's currently editing the video that you guys have just seen. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Um, just jumping on to end this moving vlog and I come bearing good news. I just wanted to let you guys know that autumn content is starting this Wednesday. Um, and my uploads are also back to every Sunday and Wednesday as of Wednesday. So yeah, autumn content is officially starting, which I cannot wait for. Um, I also wanted to say as well, we do still have a few more moving vlogs planned. I really don't want them to come to an end, so I'm just gonna try and drag them out um, forever. So we do actually still have our dining room reveal and then the spare room and i haven't told you guys this yet but we might be renovating the kitchen that's obviously going to be a whole process in itself um but that's something i think i really want to do yeah i really hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having the best weekend and i will see you on wednesday first of many autumn videos cannot wait i'm so ready for autumn who am I kidding? I've been ready for autumn since January. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.